Okay guys, so in this tutorial I will show you guys a very simple and dirty way to render a matcap. So basically, the typical way to render a matcap in Blender is to like play around with the shader editor. So you have to drag in the image of the matcap and then you do some magic stuff and then you can render it. So the way I used to do it is actually I just used the, some screenshot app. So I just took a screenshot screenshot of my viewport and then I cut out the un un unnecessary stuff from the uh, image. So actually the Blender has a nice tool, nice option, which is called view render image. So basically under the view panel here, you have this viewport render image. And if I click on that, you can see the window should pop on your screen. And the image that is rendered is exactly the same as the viewport here. So after that, you can click on the image and you can click save as, and then you can save the file w whenever you want and you will have it in PNG or anything that you want. So some few tips I learned using this thing. So if you don't trust me, you can change the matcap. For example, I would change it to this matcap and also you can play around with the viewport so i will change the color to be something more uh, red so you can actually trust me and let's i don't know let's enable the x-ray and now let's click the same viewport render image and as you can see yeah it basically works so it's the way to render your matcap very dirty way and I don't recommend it if you want to have very nice render but if you just want to have it then this is the way or quick dirty way to render it so that's everything I wanted to say guys and also yeah uh, there's a small tip from me so if you want to know exactly how the render would look like basically you have to go here into this panel and you can see uh, actually this one you can see the resolution here so if i change it to be 180 by 180 it will actually render the, the square so if i click it will basically render the square and the the thing i learned is i want to change it to uh nine by nine okay 1920 by 180 and if you want it to be exactly the same, you have to maximize the viewport. So the way to do it is to click, let me enable the shortcut. You have to click Control Alt Space. And if you click Control Alt Space, you have the whole Blender viewport here. And nothing is like shown, so you know exactly how it will look. So for example, here, if I, I move my like camera viewport to look like this, and then I render it, it will look exactly the same. But there's uh, some issue. Uh, you don't have this view panel here. So what to do? So basically you have to move out from this maximize view and you do it by clicking the same shortcut. So Control Alt B. And if you click view right here and you scroll down to viewport render image, you can right click on it and assign a shortcut. So I already have it assigned so if I click remove shortcut and now I right click on it, I will, I can assign a new shortcut. So if you click on it, it will tell you to assign a, assign a shortcut and my shortcut is control shift V. I don't know why, uh, I, I wanted to make something unique so it will not like uh, have some issues with other blender things. So now if we go back to the maximize view and we move it to this, perspective uh, i would say then if i click ctrl shift v it will render it out so as you can see it's exactly the same so that's everything guys i wanted to say for this tutorial and thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye